What's up, it's AJ with Twisted Toy Garage. I'm here today to bring you a video of us getting ready to gut and cut Linda. Um, I'm here today by myself. Trey's doing some personal business. Um, so what I'm going to do today is start figuring out where all the wiring in the back of the car goes and lead, um, disconnecting what we don't need and leaving what we do need then i'm going to probably take out the rest of this interior um try to get the dashboard out by myself hopefully it works out never cut a car before in my life so this is going to be the first experience um and i want you guys to share with me so stay tuned and we'll be back in a minute So, before we start cutting and everything, we have all this wiring. I already started playing with a little bit of it to figure out what goes where. Um, we got all this wiring back here that we need to get out of here before we start cutting stuff. And, yep, all this wiring. Got airbags, stuff like that. Don't need those where we're going. Got all these grounds. So typically, we're gonna just keep, we're gonna keep the tail lights, reverse lights, brake lights, and that's about it. Oh, one other thing is, my disc module, I figured out already that it's for my uh, gas, gas can or gas tank latch. So I gotta keep that plugged in. But other than that, that's really all we need back here. <clears throat> and then after we figure all that out, I want to take the seats out and then take out this carpet, see if there's sound deadening in there underneath there, which is probably, um, and then try to get this dash out. But other than that, <clears throat> she's pretty gutted already, as you guys seen before. So... We have all this extra metal that we don't need. So, oh, one other thing is, I want to work on figuring out how to get this glass out. Um, <clears throat> try, going to try to see if we can do a Lexan. I don't know if I can find one for the size or if I'm going to end up making it myself. So that we're going to work on within this week and i want to call this lightweight reduction number two actually so because we already took the interior out of the back so this would be lightweight reduction number two because this car is heavy so i know this question is going to come up why you want to cut the car uh you the car is in decent shape other than that dent on the side. Why do you want to cut it? Is there's no rust in it, as you can tell. Really, there's no rust. It's pretty good. Oh, there's a rusty spot there. That's probably because I took the interior out. But other than that, there's pretty much rust free. Why do you want to take the interior or why do you want to cut the car? Well, <clears throat> we've been stuck on a 12-3 for a while. Um we're not trying to spend any more money and power. So power to weight ratio makes a big, big difference or a big impact on drag racing. So we're gonna to try to get her as light as possible without destroying the, I can't even say comfort because obviously it's not gonna be as comfortable as a daily driver, but it still gets driven on the road. Um, we're not putting a roll cage, so I'm going to take out everything, all the metal that we don't need, but keeping like the front seat brackets, 
um, to bolt into a passenger and driver. We're not changing the driver's seat. We're not putting a roll cage in it. We're not getting um, a seat harness. And yeah, pretty much. So we're going to cut as much metal as we can out of it. Um, cut the dash. There's still still we haven't even taken the dash out, so there's all the HVAC stuff underneath underneath there. So there's that's a lot of weight coming out of it. We're not cutting the doors, at least not yet, um, because it's all power and it's hot in Florida. So we still need functioning windows. Um, if I find another set of doors, then I'll think about it. But like I said before, we're not trying to spend any more money on this car. Um, any more a drastic amount of money on this car um, the rest of the year and moving forward so if we can lose weight shed, shed some weight and hit 11.9 I think we'll be really happy so <clears throat> yeah just stay tuned I'm gonna get to work and bear with me because I have no idea what I'm doing so I'm just gonna wing it so I have a pry bar pushing on the brake um, so I can start unplugging things and making sure these tail lights and everything stay on I gotta figure out what ground goes where so I can mark it so I can put it back or find a new place for a ground um, and yeah so I'm gonna start getting unplugging be right back hmm. I'm already missing this brake light I got a couple wires here that don't go anywhere. Why do I don't have this brake light? Alright, gotta figure out why this brake light won't go on. There's a plug you pull, pops up. Let's take these bulbs out because I know if you look here, the bulb don't look burnt or fried. 
So we're going to take the bulb out, look at the contact points, see if they're corroded or for some odd reason, this passenger side, the uh, contact for the bulb usually gets corroded. I just cleaned them probably, let's say four weeks ago, a month ago. Um, let's see, let me grab some gloves. Alright, gloves on. Push down, pull out. We have a little bit of corrosion. Alright, so that's one. And the same thing here. Same thing here. So. What I'm going to do is clean it off a little bit. Have a little sanding block. Get a, all, a little bit of the corrosion off. See if it works all right let's plug this one back in because we knew this side was working nothing Check this wiring, put it back where it was. Oh, I got no. Alright, we got tail lights again. I guess when the key's on too long, the tail lights will go off. When the lights will go off, so let's try this again. Nothing. Alright, so. Either the bulbs are bad, or this keep this ballast, whatever you want to call it, is bad. Let's try it on this side because. Maybe for some odd reason, it just knows it's not the right side. And there she is. That's weird. So we do have lights. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm looking the wrong way. Uh, so it's working. So I guess each side is its own. Uh, I don't know why the car can figure that out, but it's German engineering. So we got tail lights. We do not have signal light. The wiring is working. Let's take this plug on. Good. Let's take this plug out. Good. Still got tail lights. Cool. Alright, move right along. So, I'm just going to have to change this one bulb that's out, and that's easy enough. Alright, 
next step is to figure out the third light. I think we are fine. Let's see what we got for grounds. Light still working. Reverse lights are still working. We'll leave the reverse lights on. All right, those background. Let's get those here. This round is for the right side. So we got these wires here labeled. We figured out where everything was going. Trace stuff in his mouth. We figured out where everything was going. Um, and we labeled everything that we need. Everything that we don't need doesn't have a label on it. And hopefully I'll find the time to delume this and take out whatever we don't need. But we're going to start working these wires back that way. So we're moving along. The hatch, we figured out all the stuff on the hatch that we don't need. So this is coming out. Uh, disconnected we this stuff. The windshield wiper out? Yeah, we're gonna take the windshield wiper out. Um, got the lights still here, the reverse lights, but everything else that we don't need is coming out. <clears throat> so, we're gonna continue with the wiring, get it back some more, and then probably take out the front seats and continue going so we got all the wires all for what we're cutting so here we got speed sensor wires I'm not taking them out so what we're gonna do is just drape this here because we're not cutting anything down here um, we're gonna drape the wires down here and just be extra careful make sure we don't nick anything um, but now we're going to take these seats out, get this carpet up, and see what's under there. Then I don't know if I'm going to tackle this sunroof tonight, but let me give you guys an idea of what we're doing. This bad boy has to stay, so I'm probably going to end up cutting around it and leaving this part so this thing has a mount because that's for our gas can or our gas tank um, latch but a lot of that shit coming out just gonna keep moving let's get these seats out hey guys we're back obviously it's another day uh, we got pretty late last night, um, ended up being on a live with a bunch of gunners. So didn't get much done. Just a quick recap of what we did get done. Um, we got the wires off of the firewall, or not firewall, um, the back of the hatch that we don't need out of the way. We have them hanging here because there's sensors and stuff in the wheel well that we're not going to take out, but we're not cutting as much off as normal people would cut off so i think we can tuck these wires up down out of the way so we get the cutting we need to get done without damaging them today we're gonna get 
center console out and the dash out, hopefully, and the, the rug out. <clears throat> and then go from there because it's late again. Had a late day at work. Trey's not feeling too well. And yeah, so we're gonna work on that. And then yeah, yeah. Hi. You sound like 40. Hi. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we're, let us get to work. And stay. So I love that little, this little stand. You never took that out before. What? That, those screws? I don't know what I'm taking on. I'm just taking shit apart. Well, you've taken that all off before. I don't, I don't know. It's all, actually, no. There's two screws right there. I don't ever remember taking this out. We took it out in the other car. Did we? Yeah. No. And it wasn't even bolted in. It literally just pulled right out. Um, there's two screws right there. <laughs> I know, but yeah, it's definitely holding it down. There's one on one side and you have to do one on the other side. So it's just one here. This thing's heavy. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. What's that? Hit this one. Don't smush my finger. It's maybe that's gonna keep me. Hold on. I'll try. What's this? This seems to be whatever the hell that is. Is it a let me see the hand? Why is this upside down? There's a screw right here upside down. 
can't move like that shit like that. It's probably bolted down into the cup holder. something with the shifter. Well, what do you know? Can't you for this? Here you're from back up quick. Fast <laughs> so, if you're taking a center console out of a 08, oh, out of a 08 um, GTI, if you're taking a center console out, we had a couple screws back here. Those are pretty easy. There's a school, uh, screw in the cup holder, and this cover on the side pops out, and then there's two screws up in here that you need to take out <clears throat> so probably on the same side same thing on the other side just uh wanted to pause and show you that guys that Turn the AC on, it's hot in here.
fun one. Can you connect that battery real quick? This side panel come off. I know it does. Pull it off. Yeah, these two more screws right there. There's a screw on. took one out. this because it weighs nothing so, yeah you know we need I mean? to we have to because the uh shifter and the button yeah Center console's out. Now it's time to move up. Let me see the torques. What do you need? The, the ratchet. <clears throat> Get this out of our way. Want to try to get this radio up before we? Oh, yeah, it's definitely gonna come out. I'm just taking out the bolts and see. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna start working on this radio area.
Well, that shit can crash, right? Yep. So this is really the only thing we're saving at this point. So far. Past a hundred. Hey, we passed well. What are you talking about? Yeah. You're in front of the camera now. What's good with you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, see that? I told you it was gonna <laughs> be heavy. That's the radios aren't fucking light. Especially stockhead units. Uh, let's see why we're not working. Everything looks decent. <laughs> you wanna tell them that story? No. <laughs> you could tell the story. Nah, I don't wanna talk about it. So every time Trey holds the car, especially when I first got it, something came back broken. One time it was this guy. He claims he hit a bump and it just shut off. Yeah, this sure never back came on. back on. Been about what? About a year and a half now? Been at least a year. You should have been uh, replaced this. Fuck you. You know how expensive <laughs> those are? <clears throat> We're going to get back to work. It's hot. What, what did we find, Trey? Um, so we found out that what I said was true and I wasn't lying. So, apparently, not apparently, but naturally, there's a fuse back here. This is the fuse. See? It's broken. Fuse popped. So, that's why the radio stopped working. Still, he touched the car last. Who needs a Mark V radio? Oh, radio in decent shape. The screen, you can't see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're beat anyway. And wait, we still got speakers in this thing. Dude, there's a lot of shit here. God. All right. Yo, we could fit a Tesla, um, <laughs> <laughs> Tesla uh, head unit in there now. <clears throat> Tesla head unit, K24 motor. There's plastic behind it.
I don't like it's held in the center. Let me go on the other side. Here, take your flashlight. Going to the other side. Look at that view. Ain't gonna be much of that left. <clears throat> um, you, gotta get, you need to get the center console or the um, the cluster out. I think the cluster will bring the cluster with us. Nah, there's bolts behind it. I guarantee it. Can you guys see any other screws? I feel like Dora. <laughs> Can you guys see any other screws? No. <laughs> I want to be Dora. You can be Diego. <laughs> swiper. No swiper. <laughs> Uh, I don't see any of the screws, man. Do you think that works for crackheads? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. Uh, pull on it again. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big pause, dog. I'm sorry. I had to let that one go. <laughs> Much, too much gift to it still. I still don't want to move past here. Yeah, I see there's a bracket right. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, that's free. It's probably, it's probably bolted in up here. Take that vent out. Take the, um, the, uh, there's no vent. Defro there's a defroster vent. Uh, it's attached. Kind of. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it's attached. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna put the camera down for a sec. Put you guys on tripod so I can actually be a little bit more help. Taking that off before. Where is uh... nope. it's very possible that there's a bolt underneath the cow. Cut the 
this clip. Bye guys. So I got this panel out. Underneath panel is out. Uh, flashlight. Let me get the flashlight for you guys. <clears throat> oh. Whew. Sorry about that. We got underneath panel, under the steering wheel, fuse panel off with the fuse. Um, box is loose. This is getting loose. You're still search, searching for screws. That's all I'm doing. Ugh. That's all I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna try to get behind the dash, or behind the speedometer. The odometer. Speedometer, odometer. Cluster, that's the word. Cluster is out. So, there were two screws. Uh, like it's too bright. Two screws holding that in. Screw there and a screw there. And the plug is directly on the mount. So, the cluster literally just pulled right out. That's the connector. And I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. And I have to worry about any wiring getting pulled or anything like that. So, let me go put all this back together. Gotta be mindful that that mount has to stay, kind of stay there. See what we can get out of it, but <clears throat> gotta make sure there's a a little mount for our cluster. So, yep, just gonna keep finding screws. It looked like there's a screw up there holding the dash in. Um, a bunch of other mounts. So, gonna keep working. Try using the um. It's not a wrench. Huh? A wrench. And no Trying to get the angle, bro. What else? What is this? That. Um. Is there anything behind that vent? So we pulled the dash out uh, off camera. This is what we have left behind. We got some planning to do, figure out what's coming out, what's staying, where our mounting points are gonna be for the dash. So uh, yeah, we're gonna probably call it a night and um, get back to it tomorrow. Uh, I think this should be the end of this video. This is part one. So part two will be coming soon. So thanks for uh, stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep going.